13.3 a, absolute value inequalities greater than, the absolute value of x is greater than two, means the distance from zero is greater than two. Remember, absolute value is meant for distance. Since the distance needs to be greater than two, we would show this as starting at either two or negative two and going greater or further away from zero. As you can see, this includes all the numbers towards the negative direction of negative two and all the numbers towards the positive direction after positive two. This is a graph of a compound or inequality, and it can be written as x is less than negative two or x is greater than positive two. So if we have a problem and it says the absolute value is greater than a number, then we're going to set up an or statement. The way to remember this is to kind of misspell greater by calling it great or to remember that it is an or statement. Let's see this in the first example. In the first example, we have the absolute value of two x minus one is greater than or equal to seven. Since it's great or, we know that this is for an or statement, which means we write two x minus one is greater than or equal to seven or the opposite, which would be two x minus one is less than or equal to negative seven. Then we're going to solve each of these to see the graph. Let's add one to each side, giving us two x is greater than or equal to eight. Divide each side by two and we get x is greater than or equal to four. Or then we solve the second one giving us two x is less than or equal to negative six. Divide each side by two, giving us x is less than or equal to negative three. Now we must graph this. Remember when we graph it, we need to place the numbers on the number line and then graph. If it's greater than or equal to, we have a filled in dot and greater goes towards the positive infinity. We have less than or equal to negative three, which means we have a filled in dot at negative three going less than or towards negative infinity. Since it's an or statement, we show all of the places that the lines cross. So that means that we fill in from negative infinity to negative three and from four to positive infinity. We can now write this in its interval notation by doing parenthesis negative infinity comma negative three bracket for the closed circle, a horseshoe shape for the union, a bracket and a four for the closed dot, and then positive infinity and a parenthesis. This gives us our answer. Let's look at another example. Here's example two. It is also a greater than question, so it's an or problem. Let's start by writing it as seven x plus four is greater than thirty-two, or seven x plus four is less than negative thirty-two. Let's start solving. Subtract four from each side, giving you seven x is greater than twenty-eight. We divide each side by seven, which gives us x is greater than four. Or, and we subtract four from each side, which gives us seven x is less than negative thirty-six. We divide each side by seven, and we get x is less than negative thirty-six sevenths. 
Let's graph this. Starting by writing each of the numbers, remember they don't have to be in exact places. Let's first draw x is greater than negative, x is greater than four. Open circle at four, going in the positive infinity direction. Then we have an open circle at negative thirty-six sevenths, going in the negative direct infinity direction. We write all pieces that are shown above, which results in the following graph. We can now write the union statement, which is parenthesis negative infinity comma negative thirty-six sevenths parentheses because it's an open dot, union or horseshoe shape, parentheses four comma positive infinity parentheses. This is our final answer. Remember when you're dealing with absolute value questions, if it is a great or then problem, it is an or statement.